The 2022 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS has arrived and Triumph is calling it a performance revolution, the fastest, torquiest, most powerful speed triple ever. It's a bold statement but the laundry list of redesigns and updates are compelling evidence to back that claim. We covered most of it in our first look piece a few months back but the highlights are, a refreshed motor that is 15 pounds lighter and bumped up to 1,160 cubic centimeters, a new lightweight aluminum frame, and an all-new exhaust system, gearbox, slip and assist clutch and quick shifter. For a model designed for the street first, Triumph's own words, it is absolutely bristling with track performance ammunition. Triumph wasn't messing about either, as they brought us out to Chukwa Valley Raceway to put the all-new Speed Triple 1200 RS to the test on the rigors of the racetrack. The Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS comes in two color options, Sapphire Black, which I rode, and Matte Silver Ice, which is pictured in all of the static photos. Both retail for $18,300 MSRP. On versatility and adjustability. The keys to success at a track day? A good bike setup that makes you excited to ride and confident in exploring your riding limits. The Speed Triple RS comes stock with some high-end componentry to help every rider find that bespoke setting. Climbing on board the Speed Triple, I immediately dialed in my levers. The Brembo MCS brake lever not only inches closer to the bar but also offers some modulation in free play. From a more progressive feel to an aggressive on-off bite, it's up to the rider to choose the braking application that is best. The standard wide handlebar and neutral foot peg position are unchangeable, so this meant I had to make some body positioning adaptations when trying to go fast on the racetrack. In a few tighter corners, I had some accidental foot peg drags that raised my eyebrow, but the general riding position fared decently for most of the track. As for that new compact chassis, I do have to say that compared to my collective memory of riding a great variety of 600 cubic centimeters and 1000 cubic centimeters machines at Chukwala, the Speed Triple surprised me with its nimbleness and flickability. The most crucial settings of all reside in suspension setup and the Olean's 43mm NIX30 upside down fork, along with Olean's TTX36 twin tube mono shock in the rear are some of the best on the market and are fully adjustable for preload, rebound, and compression damping. Not a total surprise, but the stock suspension setup was a bit too soft for the track, most notably creating a wallowing effect under hard acceleration out of the corner. I opted to go two clicks stiffer on the front fork and two clicks in both the rebound and compression of the rear shock for a noticeable improvement in performance. The electric slide. Then, of course, there are riding modes, another tunable feature that literally puts the power in the hands of the rider. While track mode is the obvious choice, I wanted to make sure I got a taste of each flavor to report on. Yes, this even includes popping into rain mode for exactly one lap. These are the sacrifices your reporter makes to bring you the full details. The detuned motor was simply depressing on the racetrack but I am sure it performs as needed for those wet conditions it is intended for. Worth noting is that modes cannot be changed on the fly, so every time I toggled to a new map I had to pull into pit lane for a complete stop in order to switch modes. I cycled onto road mode next and was rewarded with much more power and throttle delivery was smooth and predictable, but the ABS did activate too much for track riding, so I continued onward in my mode sampling. There is no debate, however, that the 2022 Speed Triple 1200 RS is fully kit to deliver a more than competent track day bike for your lapping pleasure. With top-of-the-line componentry that can adjust to every rider preference, riding modes with nearly infinite tenability, and a motor that adds a bit more color than your run-of-the-mill inline 4, the Speed Triple is ready to pull double duty for the hardcore track day enthusiast. The biggest sticking point will probably be the MSRP of $18,300. That puts it in direct competition with some serious motorcycles, like the Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 Factory, $18,999, the Ducati Street Fighter V4, $19,995, and the KTM 1290 Super Duke R, $18,699, to name a few.